In this lecture, I will demonstrate you cross-selling process as an end user and the first step is to create cross-selling master data. By using the transaction code VB41 and its cross-selling type is ZS01 which we created in the last lecture. And here is the menu path which we can follow to create this master data. You can also use the following SAP Fiori app to create cross-selling master data. So I will navigate under SAP Easy Access Screen and then we'll go to the folder Logistics and then Sales and Distribution, then Master Data and then Products and then Cross-Selling Folder. And here you can see the transaction code VB41. Double click on it. And now I will choose the material determination type as ZS01, which we created in the configuration, and then we'll choose the key combination as sales organization, distribution channel, material, or customer. And this combination is being picked, picked up from the custom condition table, which we created. Press enter to continue. And now you can see our sales organization distribution channel and the material. So let's choose another material ending 2TB. And after that, we can choose our customer here. That is 500,000. And then we can double click on it. First, we have to enter the material. And I will enter keyboard. Press enter. And after that, I can enter the second alternative material for mouse. So the business scenario is the customer places an order to our organization for this following laptop. And then we try to sell the customer the following items as well with this laptop. So the customer is just purchasing the laptop, but we are trying to cross selling the keyboard and mouse as well to the customer thinking the customer may need keyboard and mouse as well besides the laptop. And further, you, we can enter the unit of measurement if you want. Otherwise, the system will pick up the default unit of measure. And further, we can enter the value under cross-selling delivery control. So if we leave it blank, then it means outbound delivery takes place regardless of main item. And if we choose A, then it means outbound delivery only if main item has been partially delivered. So let's select number alphabet A, and then I will do it for the second one as well, A. Press enter. And after this, save this cross-selling master data and the condition record saved. Now we will create sales order with cross-selling as an end user. And we will be using the order type ZOR and we can create this sales order by using the transaction code VA01. Or alternatively, you can also use the following SAP Fury app. So let's run the transaction code VA01 and then press enter to continue. And now I will enter sold to party and then enter the customer reference as CS01. And after that, I will press enter. Now you will notice that this button has been appeared that says cross selling products. Before this button was not already there. Let's try this again. So I will recreate this sales order. And you will notice that there is no button at the moment. And now I will enter cross sold to party and then press enter. And now you will notice that this button has been appeared referring as cross selling products. And if we click on it, it's it doesn't work because first we have to enter the material. So let's enter the material laptop that is to TB and I will enter 
one carton click cancel and now you can see that this pop-up window has been appeared where we are cross-selling the materials for keyboard and mouse and now we have to enter the quantity that how much quantities the customer may order as a result of our cross-selling effort so let's enter customer says that when with one carton where the there are 10 pieces of laptops so the customer orders 10 keyboards and 10 mouse as well and after that we can choose copy and now you can see that besides this laptop we have successfully cross selling the following items for keyboard and mouse as well so if we scroll down so we can see both items there keyboard and mouse and further if we take a look at the item category so you notice that the item category is ZTAN and also ZTAN for the sub items or cross selling items and further we can double click on each item to display its pricing elements and if we go to keyboard and can see its pricing elements and then go to item overview tab where you can see the mouse as well and then double click on it and you can see its pricing elements as well and also if you want to troubleshoot any issue with cross selling then you can turn on the cross selling analysis on before creating the sales order so we have successfully configured the cross selling process and then this process is working on the sales order successfully as an end user as you can see that besides selling the main item we can also cross sell the following items of keyboard and mouse and i will proceed to the next activity